Welcome back. Children have become the new battle line in the COVID pandemic, with cases among children still low but rising. Seven states, all right now with Republican governors, are now banning mask mandates in schools. Some parents are cheering those bans, while others are suing entities to prevent those bans. At the same time, the CDC is now recommending a third dose of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine for some people with weakened immune systems. Nationwide, this highly transmissible Delta variant has cases rising in all 50 states, with only half the U.S. fully vaccinated. The seven-day average of new U.S. cases is now up to 129,000. That is the highest since early February, which is exactly the same thing I said last week. It's that the number's higher again. Joining me now is Dr. Michael Osterholm. He's the director for Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy at the University of Minnesota. Uh, Michael, I, I would say it's always good to have you on, but, but I, have a, I have a feeling this is a very dire outlook that you have. So let me just start with that, sir. How, how much longer is this surge going to last? Uh, I guess this is the fourth wave since we began this conversation. Well, when you look inside this wave, it's actually a series of different events going on. First of all, we have the southern Sunbelt states that we all know are uh, basically at uh, uh, dr really dramatic case increases. If you look at the state of Louisiana right now, they're tied with the country of Georgia for the highest rate of infections in the world. Uh, but what we're seeing happen right now is while those states are starting to potentially level off a bit, we're now seeing in the southeast, Georgia, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, Kentucky, Tennessee, uh, Southern Illinois all start to take off. We're seeing in the Northwest, in states like Oregon and uh, Washington, uh, we're even seeing in the Midwest increases. So even if this uh, increase that we're seeing in the Southern Sun Belt states, which has been dramatic, we're at 83,000 hospitalizations today. A month ago, we were uh, at about 25,000. So it gives you a sense of what's happened just in the last month. And if these other states take off, then I think the surge could sustain itself for uh, at least another f four to six weeks. Given what we saw happening in India as the Delta variant basically, you know, uh, came from there, uh, it now looks like the CDC's mask guidance back in May was a big mistake. Do you concur? At this point, we need to put everything we can uh, uh, towards the controlling this virus. And one of the things, of course, is mass. But I want to qualify that by saying, and I think this has been a difficult message for many, it's the nuanced message, it's what kind of mask you're using. You know, I would tell you if the old car you have has a seat belt in it and that's it, use it. But if you can get a modern car that has a seatbelt harness, a collapsible body frame, uh, airbags, a, a computer system to reduce your speed with an impending crash, and shard glass, you don't get cut, use that. And we've not paid any attention really to giving the public the message that you need much more effective masking, such as the N95 mask that we talk about or the KN95 for kids. So, uh, yes, I think masking is very important right now. Remember, while vaccination is still the number one, two and three weapons we have, uh, if even everyone got vaccinated today, this surge would go on as it is right now for the next four to six weeks because these people would not yet have immunity. So what they can do today, though, is mask, but get effective masks. And that's really important. So are you saying I'm going to hold up my mask here that I wore this morning? This one here, which is just a, you know, a, a decent cloth mask that many of us buy on Amazon. Uh, not good. Well, let's put it this way. Uh, if you were in a room with someone who is smoking, would you smell that smoke? That is an aerosol. That's, and you know how they travel. Uh, you've walked down the street where yeah. you suddenly you get the whiff of smoke and you see somebody 20 feet in front of you. And so that's the test we have. Now, a cloth mask surely can give you some protection, but it's not the kind of protection that you get when you use a much more effective mask. We have not talked about that nearly enough. The other thing, Chuck, we've been doing a study looking at the public use of masks. We find routinely 20 to 25 percent of the population will continue to wear the mask under their nose. That's nothing more than a diaper chin for your chin. And so I think that what we want to do is inform people, yes, mask, but most importantly, give them the information about how they can get the more effective, effective masks and how they can use them. There's a lot of people um, right now when it comes to kids and the virus that think back to the guidance last year when it was pretty clear uh, that even if kids got the virus, they weren't serious outcomes. That a, is it a changing with Delta? We're seeing more children in hospitals, 
pediatric hospitals are, are, are starting to get overwhelmed. Is this just that's the largest group of unvaccinated uh, Americans and that's why it's there? Or do we need to rethink our virus guidance for kids under 12? Well, I do believe we need to rethink it. I've been promoting that for some time. Uh, the data we have used to come up with recommendations for opening our schools is really exactly as you pointed out, from pre-alpha, the, the previous variant, as well as now Delta. And this is a different virus in the sense that it's much more infectious. Now, remember, we still have 90 million Americans in this country that could be vaccinated that are not. And that alone serves as a source for infecting our kids who, as you know, under age 12 cannot be vaccinated yet. And so we do need to do more. And I would also point out the other thing that helps you understand the infectiousness of this virus is the fact that we're now seeing more and more events with outdoor air. You know, a, you know, a month ago we were saying if you're outdoors, you're pretty safe. We have had a number of events happening uh, where, in fact, people crowded together right. outdoors get infected. Now, if that's happening outdoors, imagine what happens to our kids when they're closely together in schools. So I think that uh, it is important that we recognize, and as, as you've seen in the first week of school in the South, yeah. we've had a number of outbreaks of cases. And so, yeah, the, we do have to, at this point, recognize this Delta is basically a very, very bad virus in terms of transmission. Uh, Dr. Michael Osterholm uh, projecting that we may have another four to six weeks at a minimum of this current surge. Uh, Michael, like I said, it's good to see you, but uh, I wish, were, as always, we're under better circumstances. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.